Hi, my name is Christian Felix from Walters Mercedes-Benz in Riverside, and today we're gonna to be talking about the brand new, redesigned 2021 GLE 53 AMG Coupe. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the uh, fully redesigned GLE 53. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the front, uh, actually the face of the vehicle. You're gonna notice actually that this has new standard LED headlights so it's, you have the double uh, bar, the double eyebrow actually for the LED headlight, which this is a daytime running LED headlight. You're also gonna get the upgraded intelligent LED headlight. So it actually scans the road. So when, as you're driving, you're gonna have the vehicle, if you steer left, the, the headlights will follow left. You steer right, headlights will follow right as well. And also if you have your high beam, happen to have your high beams on, the vehicle is passing you up, high beams dim down automatically. And then once the car, there's no vehicles passing you up anymore, the high beams turn on right away automatically for you as well. You're gonna also notice that you'll have the, the 63, the AMG 63 type grill, which is the vertical bars with the nice AMG badging over here. Not only that, you'll notice also that it actually has a very uh, distinct look to it, which actually looks like the 63 now, but it's still a 53 AMG with the front bumper right over here as well. You do also get your parking sensors. Alongside with that, with the parking sensors, it's a parking assistance package that comes with the vehicle. You're gonna have a front facing camera right under the emblem, the Mercedes Benz emblem right over here. And then also the parking sensors, you do get the parking assistance package, which basically the vehicle will automatically park itself for you. It does into a regular parallel space with between two vehicles or into a regular parking space as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and talk about what's going on under the hood of the brand new 2021 GLE 53 uh, coupe. You'll notice that it's very easy to open right over here. Not only that, for the technicians, it's actually pretty convenient for Mercedes-Benz that they allow you to actually lift the hood up vertical. Uh, this is a three liter AMG enhanced six cylinder inline turbo engine with the EQ boost. You're gonna have 429 horsepower with 384 pound feet of torque. And you're gonna also have the AMG enhanced nine speed transmission with also the uh, eco start stop features, which actually saves you gas. So when you stop at a red light or do a complete stop on for most of the time, you're gonna, the engine will shut off for you automatically. And once you're ready to drive, the engine just turns right back on for you as well. And then after that, you're also gonna get what's called the dynamic select, which you can actually change your driving modes. You can have like a slippery mode, a sport mode. You can also have a sport plus mode, which you can actually enjoy the ride the, mo the, the best way. And now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the side of the redesigned 2021 GLE 53 Coupe. Um, you're gonna notice that there's a huge difference with this 53 Coupe. To start off with, the older body style uh, GLE Coupe had a more boxy design. Um, so for, to start off with, the most important thing, you'll notice with the mirror housing as well, it's gonna have more of a rounded off design. We're talking about the whole headlights. We're also talking about the just like the back of the vehicle also. And then you're gonna notice that for the 53s, for the most part, every AMG Mercedes-Benz is gonna give you the fender flare. You're gonna also get on this one right here, it has the 22 inch AMG forged wheels, which are the matte black. You are gonna notice that it has the AMG badging right over here on the side of the rim. You're gonna also get the uh, perforated brakes with the nice AMG brake pad right over there as well. And then also every AMG model is gonna give you a badging on the, sen uh, on the side fenders, okay? In this case, it's a turbo, Formatic Plus, which is the Mercedes-Benz AMG Enhanced Formatic All-Wheel Drive. And then also you're gonna get the running boards, which are the nice running boards. You also get the keyless entry. So you just step on uh, to the door handle just like that. Your mirrors will fold in automatically for you, just letting you know that the car did lock. And then once you put your hand in the door handle, the car will auto automatically unlock and your mirrors will fold out for you. And that's on any of the four doors, which you can also program um, for if you just want the driver's side door to open when you are on the driver's side door, you can also program it like that. So not all four doors will open up for you automatically, okay? You're gonna also notice that this does have an, um, an AMG night package. In this case, you're gonna get the blacked out wheels, some black accents on the front bumper. The mirror housing is black. Window trim is also black. And the nice combination with that alongside is the panoramic sunroof, which is also all blacked out, okay? And now I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the, uh, basically what I always like to do if it's hot outside, and then you know inside of your vehicle, it's also gonna be hot. You can easily, as you're walking up to the vehicle, uh, right now I do have the panoramic sunroof opened up, but as you're walking up to the vehicle and uh, you wanna air out the window, I mean the whole interior, cause you know it's hot, 
and you want to roll down your windows, instead of stepping inside of your vehicle, you could easily hold on to your unlock close to your key, uh, close to your door handle right there. And then your windows will automatically open for you. If you want it to open all the way, you have to hold on to it all the way, okay? And if you want to close, you can easily hold on to your either your lock sensor on the door handle right over here, or as you're walking away from it, for example, I'm holding on to the lock sensor right here. I'm walking away and it's still closing up, including the panoramic sunroof. Another nice feature, instead of your, if you don't want to take your key fob out or anything like that, you would have to wait for the third flash on your mirror housing right over here. One, two, three, pull back and it op automatically opens up your windows for you, okay? And that's on, even if the, like one of the rear windows or the side windows, it happens to be cracked or open, you could just hold on to the lock, car automatically uh, closes the windows for you automatically, okay? And then right back over here, you're gonna also notice that you have their extra rear fender flare, which gives it that wider body kit design. And because this is a coupe, you do have that coupe shaped design with the nice LED headlights back over here. All right, guys, so what I did now is I turned the vehicle around. I want to go ahead and talk about the back of the GLE 53. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. You can actually see how it looks. You have the standard LED tail lights. Every Mercedes-Benz is going to give you the badging. In this case, it's an AMG GLE 53, and this is the coupe design. You can easily tell. Uh, right over here, this is not only your Mercedes-Benz emblem right, badging right over here, but it's also your rear view camera or you can actually also open up the trunk. I'm gonna just show you that really simply, just like that. And if you wanna close it, you have your buttons right over here. Then you can close your trunk just like that. Uh, like I mentioned, you got the standard LED tail lights, which is a very beautiful design now that Mercedes-Benz came out with. You're gonna have the rear diffusers. You have that AMG body styling, so you're gonna notice that you have the rear diffusers. Right in the middle, you have the trailer hitch that carries up, that pulls up to 7,500 pounds also. Um, you're also gonna get the um, AMG exhaust pipes with the AMG badging right on top of the exhaust uh, tip. And then you'll also notice that you're gonna get the parking sensors. Like I mentioned earlier, you do get that parking assistance package. So you got the rear view camera. And you're also gonna notice that you have this beautiful, nice spoiler that makes it, gives it that very aggressive design. And if your hands happen to be busy, I do wanna talk about the power lift gate again. Um, it's very easy to open up just in case your hands are busy. Like I mentioned, we have this beautiful Mercedes-Benz bag if in case you'd like to pick it up at the parts department. Um, it is available for sale. Um, you can kick right under on the side of your trailer hitch, just like that. Pop your things in just like very easily. And if you don't want to reach up or anything like that, you could just do the same kick just like that one more time. And your trunk doesn't close up automatically for you. And now we're going to go ahead and talk about the trunk of the GLE 53. One thing that you will notice, it's actually very deep. So in case you want to just stuff a lot of things uh, in the trunk of this uh, coupe, you'll notice that it has a lot of space, which is pretty neat. And Mercedes-Benz, uh, this is the first time that Mercedes-Benz does this with the cargo cover, because it all used to be just one solid piece. You would have to take the whole thing out just in case you wanted to have some extra, like an extra box in here. But what they did is that they actually kind of split this up where you can actually fold this, which is very convenient. Instead of having to take the whole thing out, um, you're going to get a nice air fragrance. So in this case, this has the air fragrance, the perfume that goes inside the glove compartment. Um, this doesn't come with a spare tire because you do have the run flat tires, which what that means for you is that you can still drive 50 miles an hour for 50 miles distance instead of pulling over on the side of the road, which is a nice safety feature. Instead of being on the side of the freeway, changing your tires or waiting for a tow truck, you can still make it home or to a tire shop. Uh, the other benefit with that is that you get extra storage space. Uh, so in case that you, the whole trunk is full or before it gets full, you could just pop some things in there and then close that up just like that. Another nice thing is that this does have the aromatic suspension. So in case you just need to load the vehicle up, but this is still too high, you can actually press this button right over here. The bumper should be actually be lowering for you. You notice that it's actually lowering, which is pretty sweet. You also get the 60-40 with the split in the middle on the seats. Okay, so if you want to fold the seats down, this is to drop the left side and the middle, and then you can do, the, do it on the right side as well. So you just want to pop some things in there. You can also do that right there as well. All right, guys, so now I'm sitting in uh, behind the driver's uh, seat, actually, um, and I did adjust my seats to the way I drive. I'm five foot nine, so that's that's my seat positioning right there, and then now I'm sitting back over here, and you'll notice that there's a lot of extra space, so someone that's like six foot two, six foot, six foot three can still have a lot of space, and this is the coupe, and a lot of people are curious because the thing is like, what about my head? What about my head uh, space? 
you still have a lot of space that you can work with right here. Um, you'll notice that this does have the carbon fiber trim, so it goes around all the four doors. Nice carbon fiber trim. Your Burmester surround sound speakers, you're going to have the speaker right over here as well. Uh, right down over here, door handle, nice little um, handlebar right over here. You got the nice light, the reading light right over here as well. And then in case you want to, uh, you know, hang up some clothes, that's a hidden compartment, little spot right there. You have a nice microphone for all the four passengers, actually. So if anybody's on the phone call, instead of the people in the back having to yield to the people that are in the Bluetooth phone call, uh, the microphone's right over here. So it's actually really easy to notice. In case you have any paperwork you want to slide in here, you can put that right there. You have some rear air vents. And you can also close, shut it or open it. Nice little compartment right here in case you want to put your phone in or anything like that. Ashtray. The back passengers do get the two USB-C ports, which is the new USB uh, type port. And in case anybody has a some sort of charger, you do get a uh, 115 volt power outlet right down over there. Um, this is um, basically can sit three adults right back over here. You'll notice that actually right over here, there's this thing called an ISO fix. So in case you have any, you know, uh, child seats or anything like that and having to dig inside between the seats, you don't have to worry about that because it's actually really easy to restrain that seat. And then not only that, you in case there's a passenger, someone's sitting in the back or there's two people back over here, you do have the center, uh, center piece armrest right here with the two cup holders right there as well. All right, guys, so now I'm sitting on the most exciting seat of this beautiful GLE Coupe, the 53 AMG. Um, one of the most, the biggest giveaways for this car, which is actually the most exciting thing, is actually the steering wheel. You have that nice, uh, sports steering wheel with the flat bottom and the AMG badging right over here. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about all, a lot of the features that this car does have. You're gonna have, for example, on the on the on the door panel, you have a heated seat, you have a ventilated seat, you have a high, medium, low, off, medium, low, off. This third button right over here is to be able to control your passenger seat. For example, you click onto that and start making your adjustments on the seat, like as if you're adjusting your own seat, but you're really not. You're adjusting the passenger seat. The reason for that is basically to be considerate of the passenger. Someone's falling asleep. Someone's maybe a little bit shorter, a little bit taller. You can make that adjustment before they sit in, or if they're already sitting, you can just basically lay them back as well, which is a nice convenience feature instead of having to reach over to the passenger seat also. You do get a button right over here to be able to, for you, so you can actually power fold your mirrors. You need those few extra inches on the left or right hand side. Um, you can make that adjustment right there as well. And once you get on out of your garage or your parking structure, you could just open it up just like that. You have the nice Burmaster speaker over here. You notice that you do have the full AMG carbon fiber trim around the whole vehicle. Um, on the left hand side of the steering wheel, you'll notice really simply, you have a mouse pad to control your left screen. For example, you can make these adjustments right, right over here in case you want to see your, uh, your basically your driver's assistant, your phone settings, whoever's calling you, navigation, direction of travel. You have the performance, which is basically telling you about like your RPMs and your MPGs and all that stuff. Trip, miles, radio, media, design and displays. Right now we're in a classic uh, screen. As you can see right there, this is classic. You can actually make some extra adjustments. You have your RPMs, tire pressures, extra boosts and all that stuff. Your driving mode, your um, basically uh, your um, center, center gravity and then navigation right over there. You have a lot of extra features, formatic suspension and your suspension as well, where you can raise or lower, which is pretty sweet right there. Uh, but one of the biggest things that I like to do actually is change the design and display. You have a sport mode. You also have super sport. I think that's like my favorite right there. You have that super sport design changes it up for you looks a lot more sporty that that actually matches the vehicle on your steering wheel right behind it you're going to notice that you have your paddle shifters right they're like right there it's very easy to notice you can downshift you can upshift which means that you can also change the driving mode into a manual transmission so you can actually control that right there but for your first thousand miles you want to break in the motor you want to keep it under 4500 rpms because any amg model after 4500 rpms can actually damage the motor because this uh this is the amg that's how it is for mercedes-benz also the gear shift is right over here on the right hand side really easy to use okay it's gonna flinch a little bit but we go to reverse just like that i do have those that door open right over there we go to drive and you have those extra cameras okay which is actually pretty cool you can actually see your your wheels, you can actually see your rear wheels, 
extra cameras just like that you'll see how easy it is to control that you also have that one extra 180 degree angle which is pretty sweet drive park just like that okay which is also pretty sweet this right mouse pad right over here is to control your right hand side but there's technically one two three four different ways to control the screen you have the voice command which is the mercedes-benz user experience um you can actually ask for navigation radio stations um, anything like that um, or you can actually just click into it for example I'll get into the radio clicking down just like that we go back home you have the touch screen radio change your stations really really easy to use or your mouse pad right, right down over here or in case you're in your um, if you're in your settings but you want to go to FM radio you would say hey Mercedes how may I help you FM radio boom easy as that so there's four different ways to be able to control the screen out over there really easy to change from FM AM Sirius XM and you have a volume control volume right over here and right over here as well very easy to use so as you're driving um, you can actually make your volume adjustment cruise control on the left hand side turn that on turn that off set your speed okay and on the right hand side is basically for your you know your voice command your answer or your hang up or your volume controls just that easy right there or you can also change stations by asking for the station instead of looking for it or just changing it you would say hey Mercedes how can I help 102.7 FM easy as that it takes me straight to the 102.7 FM in this case okay which is probably one of my favorite stations um, right over here you're gonna have your dual climate control or your just your control your controls for your climate control um, it's going to show you the temperature on the screen. You can actually do that right there. And it was pretty cool, actually. As you go hotter, your ambient lighting will turn into a red. And then it just goes right back to your color. You have a 64 ambient color as well. You can see right here that I have, do have the blue. And this is for the passengers because it is a dual climate control. You can also sync that and change your temperature by using your voice command. In this case, hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Change temperature to 72 degrees. I'm setting the temperature to 72 degrees. Easy as that. So instead of having to touch anything on the screen or write down any buttons, you can actually talk to the car, even change the ambient lighting. Or for example, you would go to home. One of my favorite things to do is change the ambient lighting. We go to light settings right over here, ambient light, color, and you have that 64 color ambient lighting that I was telling you about. You have a nice purple. Red, pink, yellow, green, orange, whatever colors that you may like, you have that right there as well. You do get the uh, the leather seats with this one right here, with the AMG leather seats. So with that being said, it's an upgrade, which also will give you the, you're gonna also get the, for example, go to comfort right over here, go back. You have um, a massage feature, which you can actually choose a massage type that you may wanna turn on. In this case, we go high. And we go play and my massage seat is now turned on and I can actually feel it uh, you actually have extra controls for your seat also you have your lumbar your side bolsters you can actually have the seat hug you also you can right now and that's the seat hugging me right there seat heating balance you want to go for your bottom your back or both you can do that right there also you can also reset seat kinetics as if you're doing long distance driving the seat kinetics you can just turn that on your seat will automatically move for you so you're not at a full uncomfortable position throughout your drive right over here you have extra buttons this is like a little rest for your arm nice little handles uh, touchpad dynamic select you have a sand mode you have a trail mode slippery mode individual mode which you can individualize your drive your motor your transmission your suspension you have comfort sport and sport plus Every one mode is completely different, okay? And when you turn the car on, the standard is the comfort mode. You're gonna get two US, USB-C ports right over here. You also will get an extra one right in the center console. You can close that just like that. You can raise your suspension or lower your suspension, which is with the aromatic suspension. You have extra buttons right over here, which is for your mufflers, your suspension, your traction control, your manual, your manual transmission, okay? You do get a wireless char charger also, which is pretty cool so with the wireless charger is that you can actually grab your phone and then you you'll be able to wirelessly charge your phone 
just by popping it in there just like that and then your phone will automatically wirelessly charge as long as you have an android phone for the most part and an iphone 8 or newer and then not only that right under the mirrors we're going to go ahead and go right up over here very easy to use right under the mirrors you're going to notice that there's three buttons right over here this is for your garage door openers you can actually probably do a gate and two garage doors very very easy to use for your air vents very easy to close you can actually have them open close it just like that however you choose okay um, up over here you're gonna get have your glasses holder panoramic sunroof opener or closer you can actually close your sunshade also you have what's called Mercedes me any issues that you're having with the car or you have any questions you can hit Mercedes me or any type of SOS that you may need you can click that right there also which is pretty sweet all your light settings you have your reading lights which is right under the mirror you have a right side and a left hand side let me get that turned on you'll see that right there and then the full light right over here and also your rear lights which is pretty sweet um, you have microphones right over here on the ceiling also so for like i mentioned earlier every seat is going to have a microphone if you turn your mirror if you open this up right here you your mirror your light does turn on also which is pretty sweet and then right over here on the glove compartment which is actually pretty cool you have an air fragrance holder right down over there like i mentioned earlier in the trunk you have that air fragrance it looks like a little cologne bottle pop that right in there and then you can actually turn on that air fragrance whatever scent you have in that bottle it's going to come out through the air vents which is really really cool and once again thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video on the brand new redesigned amg gle 53 coupe if you like the video make sure you hit like subscribe comment down below and we'll see you next time and if you happen to make it down to Walters, Mercedes-Benz in Riverside, make sure you ask for me, Christian Felix, and I'll be more than happy to help you out.